Hey, how's everybody doing? It's been a while, so I'm going to make another video. I got to working on a computer and I ran into a problem TFTPing, trying to recover a router. So I had to do some research. And the reason the TFT wasn't working on recovering the router was I was using Windows 7. Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and 10 will not catch that short open spot where it's listening to the TFTP server. It just won't throw it to it at the right time. But XP will, Windows 98 will, and any Linux. Uh, distro would do it so what I had to do I just went ahead and wiped the uh, hard drive and just made me a double boot system so I had to put Windows XP on it and I put uh, uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu Mate this is Ubuntu Mate right here. I really like Ubuntu Mate. And that cured the problem. There's, everybody's right. And I was trying to fight it with Windows 7. And, and I finally found out Windows 7 wouldn't work. So if you're trying to TP, TFTP something on the router, when you unplug it and start the TFTP, you need to have Windows 98 or have a Linux server with a TFTP server set up to get it to work. So I had to put uh, XP on it, and then I had to put Lin uh, Linux Ubuntu Mate back on it, and then now I'm going to have to put my OpenWRT build system back on it. So I'm going to start from scratch and uh, let y'all see how I do it. This right here is pretty much an update from my first one, and uh, but I'm going to uh, do it differently you know I'm, I'm pretty much going to use the open open wrt website as all of my source info to get it started and uh all right let's get it started what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these links right here so you can have them and uh that this is where I want to get. I'm going to install it all from the uh, OpenWRT how to build root system on this right here. This is straight from the OpenWRT website. Here we are, the OpenWRT website. Uh, OpenWRT build system installation. If you want to, you can read the whole thing. Now, here's one thing that I really like about this Ubuntu is, you know, you could, you could, you know, drop it down and pick it back up and all just like a regular computer, but you got four desktops right here. If you see my cursor right here, just follow my cursor. It's on the right at the bottom. I'm going to go to another uh, desktop, and there it is. And I really like that. Um, Linux Mint, I think Linux Mint's got the same thing. And uh, when I, in uh, Ubuntu Mate, I got so used to it, I, I really like it. You know, you could, you could switch desktop, and now I'm back to the original. And it's like I use, you know, things could get real cluttered up. When things get real cluttered up real bad, you can just switch over to another desktop. Like, I'm going to use this desktop to run my uh, terminal. What you do is just open up a terminal. When you get the terminal open, that's the way I'm gonna do it. You know, I really, you know, really like Ubuntu Mate. If if you can download this distro and get Ubuntu Mate on there, I'm pretty sure you you know you guys will probably like it too. It's it's I really enjoy it. I tried uh, Debian, Opusu, uh Red Hat. You know, quite a few other ones, and uh, when I found this one right here, it was so easy to use, and everything just just clicked together, I, and I stuck with this one. It's I, th I think it's a really cool, groovy operating system. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna switch back. Now, the first thing we need to do is uh, get the Git set up. 
get core build essentials. We really need that. That's the first thing we're going to do. But first thing, you just go to step one right here. Uh, install the GIT uh, build tools. First thing you need to do is just swipe it. Copy it. And paste it. I'm a I'm a swipe and paste guy, if y'all don't know that yet, but I like to swipe and paste. When you get it up there, just hit enter, and then put in your password. And there it goes. It is installing my GIT, my Git. Okay, let's give it a little bit. And we're almost done. done there it is okay when you get your prompt back I'm going to switch it back over to my web page okay I just did an update on my app git now I'm going to actually get the git core to build essentials just swipe it right click copy Switch over to the other desktop. Paste. Click enter. Give the Y for the yes. Do you want to continue? And there it goes. We're almost there. Yeah, I really like this uh Ubuntu mate. You can fix it up any way you want it. I mean you could what theme you want it. And uh, it, it, you, 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 it's really easy to work. You can work it real, real easy. I, I'm, I'm using it more and more and more and more, and, and I'm liking it more and more and more and more. Ubuntu Mate, the 16.04, the newest one they got out. It works great. It works great. Or you, or if you already got a uh, distro that you like, you can use it. You've got Linux uh, Mint, mate. That's that's a good one too. I like it, but for some reason I really like this Ubuntu, mate. It's it's great. And it works on all my computers. I reckon that's how come I ain't use a mate because I got some uh, micro micro PC boards, and uh, for some reason the uh, the uh, Linux Mint won't work on it. But you Ubuntu Mate, it works on everything I put it on. It works flawlessly. And we're almost done with this. We're almost there. And it's done. I got my prompt back. I'll switch it back over. Now I'm going to get some more of these uh, the sub sub versions and the mere curls. I guess how you say that. Mercurials. Mercurials. 
Now, there, you know, some feeds uh, might not available over the GIT, but only via subvisions, short of, uh, SVN, and the recurls. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. Just go down the line. That's, I'm done with one. I'm going to put this in. I want to go, well, this right here is the get clone for the uh, open, uh, open WRT trunk version. This is the same one. That's down here. This get clone is the very same trunk right here. I didn't see no difference in it. And also these right here is the repositories for the uh, Chaos Comber. This is the new one. Chaos Comber. This is the one I really like. Barrier Breaker. I still use ba Barrier Breaker. And the one before it, Attitude Adjustment. And they got the new one, Chaos Comber. Uh, let me tell you real quick what's going on with OpenWRT. For some reason, people been breaking off of, you know, the, the developers. You know, it, it, it's all free and it's all community driven. But a whole bunch of people, for some, uh, they got together and I, I guess they you know, talking to the developers and they came up with this LEDE and it's like a off branch of OpenWRT like DDWRT. I think DD, uh, Brain Slayer, he uses uh, the Bleeding Edge Kamikaze development tool of OpenWRT to build DDWRT on, with it. And I think these guys are doing the same thing. But what, what happened is when they started developing, they pulled a lot of developers away from uh, OpenWRT and they over there building their own thing unless some of them come back and start helping again or I get real smart and I become a developer all of a sudden. Right now they talk Chaos Commer is going to be the, la the last version. It's like every couple of years there's all kind of routers coming out and OpenWRT builds a third party firmware for it. You know, So you can build it or download it. And everybody's saying the KS Commer is going to be it. That's all. You know, you know, two or three, four, five years, there's going to be Chaos Commer. I don't know if they're going to update Chaos Commer or not. Well, they talk like saying, you know, if you, you want some, if you, they, in the future, they, they, they're they always building new routers and they're getting faster and faster and faster. And uh, I guess you got to, and if, if, if OpenWRT don't, have firmware for these routers that are ain't built yet and brand spanking new and probably super duper fast that you're gonna have to either go with uh, DDWRT or with the new developing gang over there with their new stuff but they're they're building it on uh, OpenWRT too they're using w OpenWRT and they're calling it LEDE firmware it's what they're designing and it's supposed to be better than open up open wrt more stable more this more that more well you know it's more awesome but i like open wrt and i really dread that happening i i it, it just it's breaking my my heart you know I, i've been you know I, I quit using dd uh wrt and came over to open wrt because it's, i i think it's a better firmware and uh, i've been using it so long and i learned it so good that uh uh, you know, it's it's. I like to stick with it. Yeah, you know, I really dread me that the you know developers are you know took off like that. And but you know it, it's community driven, and they're not paying them. And I guess the people they can go do what they want to. If they want to go over there and help them. I guess that's okay. Uh, but that's a little bit of news. What's going on with uh, Open WRT? Okay. All right, let's uh, continue. Switch this over. And just paste that in. Hit enter. Give it the old yes, Y for yes, enter. When I do, I... I give at least 100 to 160 gigs of space for uh, for uh, Ubuntu 
meet so it can expand, you know. Because the way I'm doing it now, I mean, it's like uh, I like to download Barrier Breaker, Chaos Calmer, and I like to download Trunk. And what I do is I download all the uh, drivers and everything. If you get all the drivers, well, if you keep on building, you keep on building, it's going to download them and it's going to put them in a DL folder and it's going to save them, you know, unless you clean it out. And uh, if you keep on building the same firmware, it'll get where, it, you know, it, it, it'll it go inside the build system itself and check if you got it. If it ain't got it, then it'll download it. And that's what takes time. If you already got it, it'll grab it and use it. So it it'll build your firmware quicker. Okay, now this right here, we, we, we already went what we need to do. Now, we're going to have to update the feeds. And I'll show you how to do that. Just click both of them, right click copy. I'm going to go to a new window. And I want to open me up a leaf pad. I like leaf pad. And uh, I'm going to go and get this set up. All right, save as. Okay. Oh, I got to select the flow folder. Documents. Save. There we go. Okay, just hold on a second. Let me get. Let me get it. Just take care of this and then these right here are also some commands right here that you're going to be using and save all right now we got that taken care of. Now what we need to do is go back here to the middle one. Okay, we're okay. Okay, we've done everything. Just close this out and go to home. Alrighty. Desktop documents. Videos, videos, documents, desk downloads. Oh, I forgot to do the main thing. All right. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me uh, bring the uh, uh, terminal back up. Here's what I forgot to do. <laughs> I forgot to down install the download. Okay. I got all the, uh, all the uh, make menu config, make deconfig. Uh, commands. I got them went down. Now I'm going to actually download the system itself. Now here, right here, they are. Just scroll them right. Scroll them down. Okay. Here we go. This is a chaos calmer, and uh, right here's this right here is the uh, trunk. But I like. I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, Barrier Breaker. I still like Barrier Breaker. Now, th now this Chaos Calmer is awesome. It's awesome. But if you got a router with just 4 millibytes of memory and about 16 millibytes of uh, RAM, I, I advise you to, to build it with Barrier Breaker. Because this right here, the Chaos Calmer is pretty much for new newer routers for the purpose of if you if you got a router that's got three to four hundred hertz processor chaos calmer is really not they it'll slow it down barrier breaker it'll run okay but chaos calmer you know it's for routers it's got eight mill millibytes of memory to 32 millibytes of ram with the processors 500 gigahertz or dual they they're starting to make uh routers with dual processors and uh, they can ha handle chaos calmer but y you know the but if you put chaos calmer on an older old one on an older router uh like a 
a V1, a TP Link 143 ND. I have done that and it really slowed, slowed the router down. So what I did, I always end up, you know, putting barrier breaker on it, you know, compiling me a build barrier breaker, and they work great, work great with barrier breaker on an older router. But that's that's just my suggestion. You could you could put chaos comber, you know, if you can get it to fit on the router, you can put it on there. But I'm pretty sure y'all notice uh, this thing's slowing down. It's a little slow. But if you got a really good fast compre uh, processor. And you got plenty of memory. Chaos Comma will run beautiful. It will run beautiful. Okay, let's. I'm going to download a 14.07 branch barrier breaker. Just swipe it. Copy it. And paste. Hit enter. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm downloading Barrier Breaker. But soon, when, when you finish getting Barrier Breaker on there, if you want to, I, you know, if you got, if you got plenty of room, at least get at least 100 millibytes, 160 millibytes of memory for it, so it can expand. Then you can put Barrier Breaker on there too. And you could also put Trunk if you really want to, you know. Do so. You can put uh, attitude adjustment. You know, have all four of them. You can pick whatever you want to build, and whichever you know you want to build and put on the router and see how it works. Okay, did work with that? Leave it. Because I have built so many on uh, my my other computer over here that I checked how much uh, millibytes I did had in that. Uh, barrier breaker folder and it was over 10 gigs because I have built so much and it has downloaded so much and I have not well, I got where I stopped cleaning it out because <clears throat> if you keep on building that firmware and it keeps downloading you'll you'll have so many drivers and utility and everything it needs that it'll go right to it it'll build it faster and a lot of times you won't even have, need to be connected up to the internet and you, and you could build your own firmware without even downloading nothing. And it builds it a whole lot quicker and a whole lot because it ain't got to download nothing. It's already there, ready to go. Yep. All right, we're at 18%. I tell you what, let me just pause this and uh, let this thing go ahead and download real quick. Let me just pause, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and it's finished downloading. Let's go see what we got. I want to go ahead and this is what I'm going to name it. I want to name it a Barrier Breaker. Okay. All right. What we got here? Open WRT. Want to rename it? Barrier breaker. And enter. There we are. There's barrier breaker. Also, with the uh, Ubuntu, all you got to do is right click it, the folder, and open in terminal right here. You got to open it, open it up in terminal right here. And that right there is the address. Right there. And it's right there at the folder, barrier breaker. So you've, you're all ready. Okay, we just made this folder right here for our commands and let's use them right here this right here is to feed update but first let me go back over here I always like doing this you go in barrier breaker file and uh, you got a file that's called feed con f default 
and this is where you get your feeds from from this folder I mean this file right here feed dot con f default click and open it and uh, okay I want to open that up I want to make a uh, leaf pad my default I just I just put this operating system on this thing alright open with I want to make leaf pad my default and close now let's open it there we go open it up in leaf pad I just like leaf pad a whole lot better that other text editor it was okay these hash marks right here when it sees these hash marks, it's, it's like this 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 feed line is not there. You know, this is the feed line uh, SRC SVN and like Google Code dot SVN trunk trunk packages uh, feeds. This is the phone feed, and uh, so right here's the uh, feed. The XF usually don't get this. The LXD feed and the custom feed. I want them all. I want them all. Just take it off, click, delete, delete, just delete all these hash marks. Really, you don't need them, but this this is this is just something that I do. You ain't got to do it. You can leave it uh, default with just, you know, these right here. You know, the packages, the Lucy, the routing, the telephony, the management, the old packages. You can just leave it there, but I, li I want all of them because I want to show you what I'm going to do. I like them. Then uh, click File. Get, save it, close it. Okay, let's go back here. Swipe the uh, script feed update. Copy. Bring it back to the middle desktop. And paste. Okay, we're going to update the feeds. And it's updating them. And that's the Lucy feeds. And it's still updating. That's old packages. And it's still updating. Okay, give me my prompt back. There we go. All right, there's my prompt. Now, let's install the script feed updates. This is the install command right here. This is what we use to install them. Y'all see I'm using my desktops right here. I'm switching between desktops it's the uh, first one I it's my week open RT wiki page and this right here is my barrier breaker uh, terminal and these right this right here is my notes my my command leaf pad so if you wonder how come it's the screen is switching switching is follow my cursor 
right here these are my and this right here I'm not using this desktop yet it's the last one I got you got four that's where I really I really I really dig uh, Ubuntu made it's, it's a really cool distro okay let's install them let's keep going click enter and there it goes installing uh, packages like this L L X D E it indexes meat and you really I don't think you're really going to get you know it's already X style anyhow it, it is it can't get it it just can't I think the uh, repository is not there no more because I've seen this you know every time I do it but that's okay that's okay all right now let's go back to our commands make menu config this is the main one and make the uh, deconfig and prerequisite you know you, you can read up on all these commands but the one I'm going to be using is make menu config and paste there done there we go it's up and going let's take a look at what we got here right there's the Lucy and we got everything there that's it that's all of it and we're all ready to build but the first thing I do is is let's take a look at the download folder this is the barrier breaker folder right here and I reckon it's going to have to make a download folder first. There's a DL folder. Okay. It's going to make, I'm going to have to do some downloading first before it'll, it'll make that download folder. The DL folder. Yep, yep, yep. There really ain't hardly nothing there. Okay, right here's what I've been doing. I like to uh, go ahead and do this. Uh, like the uh, the AR7, the uh, Theros, the chipset for the Theros, uh, target profile, default profile, all drivers. That's what I want. And I'm going to go ahead and th this right here is going to download a bunch, a bunch of stuff. And it's going to put it in the, you did the DL folder. Uh, and so as soon as it goes to download, it'll make a download folder because it's supposed to be right here just as soon as I get done downloading there'll be a DL folder right there and this that's where it's going to put all the download packages at and I like doing that because if you get all the drivers in that damn DL folder and, and get it the, the, get this thing built up it it'll build your firmware so much quicker because if you got a lot in the firmware and it's up the middle of it it does take some time to build it I do it like this because it speed up the build. I mean, it really, it really, it, it, it knock about two thirds time off of the build. All right. The only thing you got to do is when you when you, you know, I'm gonna start with it, through, just leave everything default, and you ain't got to worry about putting nothing into it. Just hit the save button, and it's gonna make a dot config file. That's a hidden file. Click. Okay, exit, click exit. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add this one myself. Let's uh, make capital V equals S. 
and you can see exactly what's downloading but I'll, I'm only going to show a little bit and I'll cut it off because this is going to take every bit an hour and a half to get everything set up downloaded and then then I'm going to see how fast I can pop a build off right quick copy okay bring it back to the index and paste and it'll start it, it, right now it's it's going to download all the drivers and this this right here is like a robot build you're going to have pretty much a build for every kind of thing in there and there it goes it's uh it's done download a little bit right there and uh it's downloading like crazy Let's take a look, quick look at this. Right there it is. It done pop the DL folder in there. Download. Let's see what's in it so far. It's just, just a little bit. By the time this thing finished downloading, put it in the download folder, it's going. There's going to be a boatload in there. A boatload of stuff. And right there's where it's putting it. All all stuff that's downloaded, it's putting it in that DL folder right there. And it's just, you know, this right here, tar balls. XZ and it's downloading all this stuff right now since it'll be in there when you make a build if it's in it it'll go to this first before it'll download if you already got it then it ain't gonna download it again you'll have it Okay, it's downloading this right here. Let's see if it, yeah, it popped it right up in there. You look at the bottom right here, it'll grab something, go to downloading it, and then it'll throw it right in this DL folder. Boy, ain't this fun? There's going to be about another hour and a half of this, and I'm pretty much going to. Cut it off and let this thing do its thing. There it goes, downloading that. And it downloaded that. All right, if you do it this way and, you know, put these commands in it, the command is make space capital V equal sign and S and you can sit there and watch it and there it's downloading something else all right scooped it up and threw it in that DL folder again and you can just sit here and watch it for about an hour okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on pause and I'm gonna let this thing continue because it's gonna be about a hour and a half maybe two hours and it's going to go right now, I think there's about 160 millibytes. And it's probably going to get on up there to about 8 gigs. So when it's finished up, but but you ain't got to do this. No. You could just set everything up. But I just like doing this. You know, I've been, all of a sudden I started doing this. And it's making everything build so much quicker and faster. Because I already got everything downloaded, what I need to build with. But you ain't got to. You can just click on what you need. If it ain't got it, it'll download it. And, it down, and it, then you'll have it then. And uh, if you want to, when you get this far and you, you get the uh, config, uh, the Linux config thing for it, when you get it up, you could go through, you know, um, what chipset you got. Um, what uh, what kind of device you got, and then put in what you want, and build what you want. And uh, when when I get done with this, I'm gonna bi build something real quick, and let you know, be y'all probably be surprised how how fast it goes. Okay, I'm gonna pause this thing. On when I come back, then 
it'll be finished downloading everything and I'm going to bring the configure thing back up and I'm going to config me a build and let's see how fast it'll build it all right we'll see you in a little while hey everybody I'm back but I ran into a problem and uh, here's the problem you probably run into problems like this that's why I uh, use this command right here it's called to make v slash s and it'll give you all the details uh, here's the problem I'm having uh, okay uh, Unable to resolve host address. This right here is the address uh, FTP dash all kernel org. And what it is is this tarball, this Linux 3.10.49 tar XZ. It's not download. It's not downloading. Failed to resolve, not known. Uh, unable to resolve host address. What it is, I think the repository that I was supposed to get this from is down. It even went to HTTP mirror to openwrt.org source. Linux tried to download it, program tried to download it from there. And also it went to do this ad, address 78 point, you know, went looking for it there. Could not resolve, so it gave me the big old 404 not found. Then it gave me error 2. Then it stopped. Good old error 2 because I don't have this Linux 3.10.49 Tar Z. And it's asking for it, and wherever it's asking it for, I think it went to went two or two, two, three places looking for it. And the repositories are down. That's one thing I like doing about this. I like to uh, go ahead and do this. If the repositories are down and you can't get it, it won't stop you. Like uh, I did this before about two or three weeks ago and everything worked perfect. But what it is, I found the Linux uh, 3.10 port 49 uh, Tar Z, I mean XZ. I'm down the, whole, or the, the GZ one too. And uh, I'm downloading it right now. And as soon as I get it, I'm going to throw it in there and see if that resolves my problem. I had to find it and download it from a different source. And uh, where I'm down, I'm downloading it from here from index, pub, Linux, MIPS, kernel, uh, you know, 3x. This is, where, this is where I got it from. I'm downloading it from there. Let me take a look how, okay. The GZ is 105 millibytes, and the one I'm wanting is XZ. It's 69.3 millibytes. What it is, if, it, if it's calling for it to download and it's not handing it, so what I'm doing, I'm getting it from somebody, from someplace else, and I'm gonna put it in there. And uh, and uh, well, let's take a look at what I downloaded so far. Very okay this is the DL folder as you see this is all the stuff I downloaded so far and it's quite a bit but when it got down see I already got uh, I know I got another one in here but it's not the same no nope. I ain't got it it goes in there looking for it and it can't find it and it tries to download it and it can't do it so it gives me a great big old 404 and then a world error 2 and then it stops. So when I get this downloaded I'm going to throw it in there and see if that solves my problem. If it does I'll keep on going. This, this, this happens a lot you know. If you sit there and knock yourself on the head and say, what's going on, what's going on, I don't know what's doing, why is it doing, why is it doing that? For one of the uh, repositories is, is for some reason down. They, you know, they take them down for maintenance. And right now, I'm doing it right now, I reckon they must got it down for maintenance. They do a lot of maintenance on these repositories. And for some reason, it missed down. But if it won't down, I wouldn't have this problem. So... Y'all relax. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this thing again until it's downloaded. And I'll be back in just a little bit. Hey, everybody. I'm back. 
Today's just not my day with OpenWRT. I resolved the problem with the Linux 3.10.49 TAR GZ. Uh, I had to go someplace else and find it and download it. I also had to get the update to Linux 3.10.49 TAR XZ update. I put both of them in there and it took off running like crazy. The only thing I could think of is there is a repository down. It'll probably be up tomorrow. But right now it's down and it's here's here here here's what I'm getting. Download failed. Uh HTTP downloads open WRT org source a utility Linux 2.24.1 tar XZ. Resolving download. I guess this is IP where it's trying to connect and it finally stopped and gave me an error. When you see an error 404 not found, that means download failed. That's exactly what it means. Download failed. If I want to keep going, then I'm going to have to go find this Linux kernel and from someplace else, download it and put it in there. And uh, let me go ahead and pause this thing and do that. I'll eventually get done. But if y'all do this right here, if y'all run into an error problem, it's already going to tell you to uh, run this make v slash s, and it will give you a everything's going on like this. Because when it stops, you know, because I got an error too. Error 2, Error 2, World Error 2, MK, when you get MK171, Target World Failed, Error 2. That means it, everything stopped. It, it ain't making it no more because it needs And Then you go look, read, and read what you need, and all of a sudden, you know, right here, Download Failed. If that uh, supp uh, suppository, <laughs> suppository, if the... Uh, where we get downloaded from if it was up the repositories were up everything would be cool and groovy you know it, it, it just go like crazy but you know if this is if you get error 404 error 404 not found then that that repository's down it's 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 not going to give it to you my computer and everything open door is trying to get it but it's down so let me uh Put this thing on pause. Let me find this and maybe it'll finish up. But this right here is what I downloaded so far. Uh, you can pretty much see that it's, it's, it's getting a bunch of stuff. It's getting a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. But when it went to that and uh, it tried to download it, got a 404, download failed, and it, boom, stopped it. And if you was trying to uh, build something, if it needed this uh, utility Linux 2.24.1 tar, if if it couldn't download it, boom, you would have had, had an error right then, and it would stop. It, it wouldn't have worked anyhow. So that's the way things are right now. Let me uh, see if I can find this right here, put it in there, start it up one more time. If I get everything downloaded, then, hey, I'll have it. Everything be cool, but if everything's up and going good, but you, these uh, repositories, they'll take them down for maintenance. You know, if, if if they need to update something, or or maybe the internet's just down where where this where, where this repository is. You know, it's probably just down, or they took it down, and um, for maintenance or whatever reason. This ain't the first time this has happened to me, but you know. The, you can't I can't I can't get around it you know all I got to do is find this uh, uh, utility Linux uh, 2.24.1 tar XZ put it in there just like I did this other Linux kernel fire it back up keep going eventually uh, I have it whooped but stuff like this happens you know yeah throwing a computer across the room ain't gonna help the problem all right, I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, I'm back, everybody, and it has finished. Everything's okay. No errors. 
I got my prompt back, so that means it is done. It's downloaded all the files, and let's take a quick look at all what we downloaded. And uh, this right here is all the tarballs packages that uh, it downloaded in the DL folder. And it's quite a bit. And uh, this, this, this is the packages that it's going to be using to build uh, the firmware with. It's downloaded all of them. All right. Let's take a look at this. This right here is the file where Barrier Breaker is. When I downloaded it, it was about 160 60 millibytes. Let's, let, let's see how it's grown. All right, it's over a gig now. And it's still growing. And it's still growing. Now it's over to three, three gigs, 3.1 gigs. So this has really downloaded some stuff. But y'all ain't got to do this if you don't want to. But if there's a repository down, and y'all start building it, you know, is you're gonna get an error. But if everything's good, you could build your stuff because it's gonna download it, put it there. If you keep on building the same stuff, then you you'll have everything anyhow. And the reason I do this right here is it speeds up the build, and also it, it virtually when I do it like this, all my errors go away because I got everything I need. Because if you got an error, you got to find out what it is. Uh. And take care of it like I like I did. I had to go someplace else and get three uh, packages and put them in there and and work it, work it until I got it in. Okay, we up to five point four gigabytes now. So this from one hundred sixty to five six six gigabytes is still eight point eight gigabytes. So it's really growing. So I've really done some downloading on it's, it's downloaded some packages. Okay, well that's up to eight point eight gigabytes. So that's uh that's a lot. All right. Now alrighty, let's bring this back up. Let's build some firmware right quick and see how fast I could do it. Oh, I got to clean this out right here's the bin you see when, when I did all that you know what it did it built um, builds for all of all of them that was in the uh, uh, barrier breaker I got I got a file for it right here and All these right here are squash bin files. You, know, you can see it's for all of them. There's Archer C7, Archer C5, and the D-Links, the DIR 600, 615, 6, they're, they're all in there. Yep. Uh, that's right. Uh, WDRs, uh, net gears. No, I think these are t no, these are TP links right here, or net gears. And look at all of them. And it has built all these. Okay. While I'm in here, there's a file right here that I want to get out of there too. Uh, I always get rid of these files. If I'm going to start fresh, it's called a dot config file. Uh, go to view. Oh, the the, the uh, Ubuntu mate. I I I really love this because it's got a show hidden file right here. Just click on it. Look around right quick. Make file, 
config for right there it is dot config dot config let's take a quick look at it and this right here is what your config file looks like everything's a set to Y like this one right here config target AR so if it's got equals Y that means it's going to be added everything's going to be added everything with a Y on it like if it says it's not set it's going to be left out like we got a whole bunch right here. This is why, 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 Okay. I'm going to take this file right here. And I'm going to drop it in this bin file right here. And this right here, when you finish build, building a package, it's going to make you a bin file. And that's where it's going to put your firmware right here. But I don't want this right here. I'm just I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Move it to trash. Then I'm going to go down here and empty the trash. Okay. Okay, the trash is gone. Okay, I got it clean up and I got it all set up to build. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Open in terminal. And I'm going to see how quick this build's going to go. When I do it like this, it, it, it'll build it pretty quick. All right. Set up the menu config. Take that. Copy. Paste. Click Enter. Give it a minute. And there it is. This right here is the uh, this is the main configuration screen for OpenWRT. That's where you do all your configuring from right here. And you right here you got check your chipset. A lot of things, if you got a router, you need to go and uh, study up on it, see what chip it set you got, so you can pick out the right. The, you know, this right here is already default. This right here, three roast AR7, the AR9s, and this right here is setting up for the drivers for your chip set, because you got a whole bunch of different, you know, Marvel, Railink, uh, X86, uh, you got all kinds. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna leave it right here at the race. Okay. Okay, sub target. Generic. Yep, that's what I want. I want generic. Okay, that's right here, target profile. Defaults all the drivers. That's 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 the only time I'm gonna use that. So before I make the first one, I want everything, all my drivers in there. Now I'm gonna select what I want to build. You know, this right here, all the routers that they got on a uh, barrier breaker. You know, they got all net, and there's right here some th uh, Theros reference boards. You know what reference you got with the reference board? And pick this. And uh, there's Buffalo. Look at all the Buffaloes, a lot of them. What Compex? All right, here's D Links. That's a DR16. That's what I'm looking for. Let's do a simple uh, D-Link DR615. Let's let's see. There we go. Got it all set. Target in, image squashies. Yep, squash. <clears throat> Global uh, build settings. I don't usually mess with them because they're already set. What you need, you can add if you want to. But since it's a four millibytes. You don't need you don't really need to add that much because if you get too much it when it gets done building it, it ain't going to give you your, your your firmware and your package because they set the say set this thing up if it's too big and it won't go on your router it ain't going it ain't going to put it in there it's got to be within four millibytes <clears throat> I usually don't uh, but what I, I do I usually go to kernel modules and then I go to the LED and uh, I usually set up uh, LED trigger net filter I do uh, then just click that in 
Then I go to, uh, nope, I've got to go back in here. That's right. Libraries. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Now filter extensions. Okay. Yeah. See if it's in here. It's been a while since I. Okay. Then what is there so much in there? No, 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 no. It's it's a library. That's what I'm looking for. Libraries. There we go. No, no, no. Don't hit that again. I don't think it's a library. Network device. Other modules. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Put modules. What, is, what I'm saying right here on the LEDs, if I use the uh, LED net filter, I've got to get a kernel module that'll make it work with it. This uh, native language net filter. Net filter extension. Because you just can't plug on to that one and, and it'll work. you got to find... Okay, just got to look for it. Here we go. This one right here is, is K mode IPT LED module to trigger a LED with the net filter rule. That's the one right there. Okay, I found that. Okay, now. It, you know, it's like the network support, you know, like it's already got, you know, like IP6 right here. Everything's all clicked in, you know. It's, if you click on what, now if you just clicked on this right here, Theros and that right there, and just hit make, it would, it would make you some firmware. It wouldn't have Lucy in it, but it, it would work. You know, you you could put it on there, and you have to go through the UCI to configure it, but it wouldn't have Lucy in it. Now, since I the net filter rule, I'm gonna go to Lucy, and I'm just gonna click on the Lucy and modules. Um, I say no, that's okay. Applications. I really ain't gonna put no applications in this right here. Your applications, you know. Uh, you know there's OLSR, and uh, that's that's for uh, for mesh, and uh, it's got Batman in here too. This right here is the P910ND for press printer, or uh, in, in the QoS quality of service. Click on that. You have you some quality of service. There's Samba, and uh, but you know the uh, D-Links DR615 doesn't have a USB on it. There's transmission. Now if you click on it right here, it'll go ahead and click pull in everything it needs to make the transmission work. And that's really great the way uh, OpenWRT did this, which is really cool and groovy. All right. And here's the theme. I always, I always love the OpenWRT theme. Ever since I've been using it, you know, new themes, you know, it's okay, but, you know, I'll, I'm so used to, to the uh, Lucy theme, Open WRT, that's what I like, and I want to, I want to keep it. Protocols. I want to uh, put Lucy Proto Relay, and that'll put pull in Relay D. And if you don't know what Relay and Relay D is used for, it's used for, um, if you want to set the router up as a client bridge, if you want to set the router up as a 
repeater. You need relay D. And set that in. Okay, that looks good. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do to it. If I put any more in, because, you know, it's like Batman. Batman's pretty big. If I put, if I click it in there, I know right then it'll build it, but it's not going to put it in the bin file. And that's good enough. My LEDs are going to work. Uh, I already got the uh, Adhero drivers set up to put in it. It already pulled them in. And uh, it's got everything I need to make a DIR615 work. And it's, it's not very hard. But if you got one and want to set it up with USB support, you're going to have to go to the, the wiki on OpenWRT, read what you need. And then you're going to have to click it. It still might not work. You might have to work it a couple of times. Or if you're going to set up a router for a mesh, you got to put Batman in and, and just work it the way, way you want it. You know, it's a lot of sometimes trial and error. If you don't know what it is, Google it. And... Uh, Read what you need to do on OpenWRT, and, and the, first, the first time you do it, you, you, you might not have a success, but if you keep at it, you can start building your own firmware and make it the way you want it. All right, now when you get all done, uh, click on save and exit. Exit again. I'm going to go and click save one more time. And it, that right there, it just made me a new dot config folder click OK and then exit click exit again alright let's see how fast it'll make this now I'm going to use this make right here make slash J5 I got a I got a quad core processor on this computer I'm using and you just add one five and that right that it calls this to use all the cores so let's see how fast this is going to make it usually this right here takes about an hour hour and a half but if you got everything already downloaded it it'll probably make it uh pretty quick let's see let's see let's see what happens all right let's get started okay All right, it started. There it goes. And it's cruising along pretty good. It's uh, compiling Lucy right now.
And guess what, folks? That's it. It has just built me some firmware. My prompt is back, and it's finished. All right, let's see what it uh, made me. Now there's the bin file. And okay, that's what's made me. Right here it is. Open uh, WRT AR71 generic. DR16 E4 Squash Factory Bin. This is the one that you put on there when you got the factory firmware on your router. And there, right here's the one that you use if it's open WRTs on there. If you want to upgrade, this is the one you use to upgrade. And uh, this is the stuff. Here's some packages, space, and it's Lucy. Yup. And that's it base files. These are here all the files that are got got put in it. And that's it folks. I've just built me some firmware. And uh I think I'll build me some more. When I get a chance I'm gonna put uh Chaos Commer on there and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with it. You know, and then I'll probably download uh you know trunk. Well, I'm gonna build do some trunk on this one right here too okay folks i hope you learned something this right here is the update from my first uh build uh open wrt barrier breaker 14.07 and maybe this will give you a better idea how to how to get started but you ain't got to do it my way you can look at it and the first one and you can do it like that too but you know probably need to look at both of them if that'll give you help because i had a really hard time uh uh, working with it when I first started, you know, I had errors out the wazoo, and, and it was just harder. But but the more I worked with it, you know, just like I had these three errors on this one right here, and I had to go find these files and download them separately because I reckon a repository was down; it, it couldn't download them, so I had to go get them from someplace else. And but you know, I fixed the problem. You just have to keep on working with it and working with it until you get it. All right, that's it. Hope y'all learned something, and bye-bye.